we are going to be taking a look at similar and congruent figures. The first question asks us, are these shapes similar? So let's look at that vocabulary word. Similar shapes have corresponding angles that are congruent and corresponding sides that are in the same proportion. So taking a look at my angles, I can see that all of my angles are congruent because they're all 90 degree or right angles. For my sides, remember for rectangles, opposite sides have the same measurements. So the smaller side is 39 millimeters in both, and the longer side is 56 millimeters in both. So not only are these similar, because if I were to set up a proportion, 39 to 56, right, the smaller side compared to the larger side for my orange triangle, I would have the exact same thing for my blue triangle, 39 com compared to 56, and I don't need to do too much math to see that they're equal because they are the same thing. So what that means is not only are these similar because they're in a one-to-one -one ratio, but they are also congruent because they have the exact same size. Are these shapes similar? Okay, well using our same definition, we need to see if corresponding angles are congruent and our sides are in proportion. So I can see that if I go through from my smallest to my next smallest and kind of around, I've got a 63 degree angle for J that corresponds with a 63 degree angle for T. I've got a 69 degree measurement for both Q and G, a 117 measurement for both H and R, and a 111 measurement for both L and S. So the side, or I'm sorry, the angle measurements are congruent. Now, if we take a look at the sides, I don't need to do too much work to see that they're in proportion because I can see that the longest side for each one of these is 199 feet. And you can see that they correspond because they're in between the 63 and 69 degree angles that we marked with one and two hash marks. If I move to the next side between the two and three hash mark angle, they're both 86 feet. The sides between the three and four hash mark angles would correspond. They're both 122 feet. And then the last side that would correspond is both 104. So they are in proportion because they're in a one to one ratio. So that means that not only are these similar, but again, they are also congruent. Are these shapes congruent? Okay, well remember congruent means they have to be the same shape and also the same size. So if I look at these shapes, my angle measurements do match up, but my side lengths do not. For example, if I look at the longest side of the gray figure, it's 200 meters. If I look at the longest side for my orangish figure, it's 600 meters. So 200 is not equal to 600. They are not the same size. So no, they are not congruent. Are these shapes congruent? Now, first of all, don't worry about what they look like. Look at the side measurements because they're not always drawn to scale. So we do want to see, do the angle measurements match up? And at a quick look, I can see that my angle measurements do. So now, I, need, I know that congruent shapes have the same or equal measurements on their sides. So let's take a look and see if our lengths of the sides match up. If I look at my longest side in the green figure, it's 109, I'm sorry, 198 kilometers. In my orange figure, it's 593 kilometers. So I can see 
that the side lengths are not the same, they are not equal measures, so no, these are not congruent figures. Are these shapes similar? So similar, and again, we have to be really careful and make sure we're reading directions here because we're going back and forth between similar and congruent. Congruent is the same size. Similar means the angles are the same measurement, but the sides only have to be in proportion. So let's take a look and see. If we start by looking at the angle measurements though, I can see that in my purple figure, I have 64, 130 degrees, 116 degrees, and 50 degrees. The angle measurements are not the same in my blue figure, 85 degrees, 71, 95, and 109 degrees. So I don't even need to look any further. The angles are not the same, so no, they cannot be similar. Are these shapes congruent? Okay, well remember congruent means the same size and the same shape. So if we take a look at our side lengths of these two rectangles, on the left we have sides of 32 inches and 68 inches. On the right we have sides of 40 inches and 85 inches. Those are not the same, so they cannot be congruent. Are these shapes congruent? Well, at a quick glance, I can see that my angle measurements do not match up. They are not really the same shape because of that, right? I have a 54 degree, 74 degree, 126 degree, and 106 degree on the left, and totally different angles for my green figure on the right, 85, 99, 96, and 80 degrees. So no, those shapes are not congruent. And you can also see the side lengths are not the same either. Are these shapes congruent? Well, again, congruent means that they are the same size and the same shape. And I can see here that my angle measurements do not match up, and neither do my side measurements. And you can even tell that the shapes don't appear to be the same shape. So I'm gonna say no, these are clearly not congruent. Are these shapes congruent? Again, congruent means the same size and the same shape. They would have to have equal angle measurements and equal side measurements. And at a quick glance, I can see the angles already do not have the same measurements, right? In the yellow one, I have 62, 69, 118, and 111 degrees. Not even close, my other figure has 72, 69, 109, and 110 degrees. So they are not congruent. And you can also see the side measurements don't match up either. Are these shapes similar? Well, similar shapes have to have the same angle measurements and sides that are in proportion. And I can see here that my angle measurements do not match up and my side measurements are totally different. Um, and I don't even need to check for proportion. It's okay, they could be similar with different side measurements, but they would have to be in proportion, but we don't even need to check that if the angles don't match because the angles would still have to be congruent. So I've got 102, 94, 79, and 85. That's not the same as 112 degrees, 101 degrees, 68, and 79. So no, they're not gonna be similar.